Let's contrast that, Vinny, to your boy Cameron Grimes. All right. Are you aware of what's going on with Cameron Grimes? I watched his promo on the show. I don't know any backstory behind it. Well, I'll tell you the backstory. Cameron Grimes was injured. He was taken off TV. They were going to reintroduce him. During this period, I guess, I presume Cameron Grimes was fucking around on Reddit. <laughs> okay. Cameron Grimes bought a whole bunch of AMC. Oh. He bought it at a very low price. I'm talking like 15 bucks a share. And then he sold it for like $350 a share. Okay, so that, that's, that's a shoot. So, in fact, he made a shit ton of money off the whole GameStop deal. Now, he didn't make enough money to be Elon Musk, okay? No. But, I mean, he literally made probably easy five figures. I don't even know how high into the five, but he made a fucking lot of money. And there were people joking that he was, in fact, the richest person in NXT. Okay. So imagine my joy, because I heard this, like, several days ago. Imagine my joy when this motherfucker comes out, and his new gimmick is the Million Dollar Caveman. Yes. And he cut what <laughs> I thought was the best fucking promo. It was awesome. I'm not and saying dude, it was not awesome. <laughs> there's nobody... I don't know Cameron Grimes, but I know people that know Cameron Grimes. And they're like, you know, this guy is just... You know, he's exactly like what you see on TV... He's just, he's a caveman, but he's a really smart fucking guy. Sure. And so now here we are, he's the, he's playing this role to perfection. And like, it's patently obvious where this is going. He's going to blow all of his money. Of course. He's going to fuck it all up. I, I, I loved this Cameron Grimes thing, both for what really happened and the way that he played this character. He's showing up in this fancy fucking car. He literally is doing what you did when you won the money at the casino yes. and you got a velour jumpsuit and yes. all of a sudden you were rich Vinny V. You guys look the fucking same. You're playing the part. He's doing a better job. No offense. He has a thousand times more talent than But I fuck, I thought, I thought this was the best promo that anybody has cut in NXT forever. When he's going nuts about how he's rich... And he's throwing his money in the air, and he's jumping up and down. He's doing the Scooge McDuck swim in the cash. I was like, this guy's the greatest. And this is the greatest gimmick. And it's like, because it's him, it's unfuck upable. Like, <laughs> unless they just drop it, it's literally impossible to fuck up. So, I thought it was significantly better than the Johnny Gargano stuff. Which I enjoyed, but I thought the payoff for the Gargano thing just sucked. All of a sudden, he doesn't care about the guy anymore. He's just going to beat him up. So... Well, I thought this was far superior. Johnny has now been backed into a corner. He's been forced into this match. His, his injury has been revealed to be a ruse. He has no choice now. He must do this match. And so he's trying to talk himself, talk up a big game. So now you're booking the territory. Sure. To please yourself. Why not? Okay. We all do it. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.